Hey guys, and welcome back to Let's Play Mother 3. So we're up here in the Sunshine Forest looking for Hinoa and the kids, and we found some Drago claw marks there in the cliff. But there doesn't really appear to be anything that we can do, so uh, I guess we can just head back. Oh, wait, looks like Bodhi found something. What is it, boy? Something up the cliff, maybe? What is it, Boney? Yeah, that, <laughs> that's what I just asked. Flint, I think Boney found something. It appears that way. Mm. Oh, look at there. There's a scrap of cloth. Don't you see it? There's a bit of red right over there. Where is it? Ah, there it is. Stuck on the tree there. Wait, isn't that the same color red as Hanawa's dress? That's not good. Hey, it's Wes. What is it? Is there something on top of this cliff? Old Man Wes, what are you doing here? Sorry to say, but there's nothing a rickety old man can do to help us out. Oh, come on. Wes is cool. Let him help. Oh, Flint. Don't tell me you intend to climb this cliff. I know how you feel, but scaling this cliff face is just too dangerous. But you know, maybe my son could be of use. I don't know if it'll help any, but let's get him out here so he can try. Alright. Uh, we don't really have any other options right now, so uh, that sounds good to me. Boney, bring my son back here. My son's name is... And here we are, introduced to our next character, a strange but nice guy with unexpected skills. This is Duster. Awesome. Duster is probably uh, one of the coolest people in the game, so... Uh, I don't know, at least I think so anyway. I think he's pretty awesome. His name is Duster, got that? Here, have a sniff of this sock. Gah, that's right. Don't forget the smell now. Oh, poor Boney. <laughs> that was a joke. God, that's ripe, all right. Well, at least it'll be a strong scent for you to follow, right? I'll tie the yellow ribbon to your collar. Show him the ribbon, and he'll know exactly what's going on. Now fetch! Woof woof, you can count on me. So now Boney's gonna go back to the village to get Duster, and this is a pretty neat little scene here. He's running through the rain and the lightning, and nothing's gonna stop him. He's on a mission. Out of the way! <laughs> I was looking at him like, what's going on? All the kids are gathered around him. Oh, he picked up the trail again. Ah, it looks like he's found the house. How's he gonna get in? He doesn't have thumbs, he can't turn the doorknob. Ah, well, he got in somehow, and there's Duster. Holy crap, look at all those presents up there at the top, man. <laughs> he's asleep, and he can't wake him up. So, what is Boney going to do? Well, of course, he's just going to drag the sleeping body of Duster back through the forest. That's awesome. Alright, looks like we woke him up and got him on his way. And now Duster's running towards us. He's got kind of a limp, actually, so he runs kind of funny, which I think is nice uh, attention to detail, but... Uh, that's pretty cool. So, Duster, at long last, it's time to put the thief skills you've studied since childhood to the test. Now show us your wall staple technique right here, right now. I did study that technique, but this is my first time using it for real. I hope this works. Now, I wonder what he's going to do with those wall staples. This area looks scalable here. And... Yeah! Awesome. So, of course, he plunges the wall staples into the wall and makes our uh, ladder up there. So, Duster it pretty much just saved the day here. That's good stuff, because Duster's a cool guy. Alright, that should do it. Flint, be careful coming up. Sweet, let's go. Try Boney. Boney climbs ladders kind of funny, but then again, I've never actually seen a dog climb a ladder, so I don't know how that would look. Looks like the rain stopped. I have a slight leg handicap, but I'll do my best. Please take me with you. Well, of course, man. The more the merrier. So, Duster joined your party. Awesome. Duster is a really, actually a pretty good party member. He's going to be uh, useful for a lot of debuffing and stuff later, but we'll get to all that. It's the same color as Hanawa's dress. I hate, I hate that, like, sad item get music, you know. They took, like, the same thing as the regular one, except made it a minor key. So there's a little cave in here with some moles and some presents. Uh, the moles are really no big deal. They're just a 
mis mischievous moles or mischievous moles or however you want to pronounce it. Uh, let's see if we can get some combo going here. This song is pretty easy to combo to. There we go. Yeah, and that song's also a little weird, uh, that version of it anyway, because at that one part you kind of have to speed up a little bit. You may have been able to hear that, but uh, there we go. We got some nut bread from the battle, and we get some beef jerky from the present, which is a pretty good recovery item. And uh, also, Duster kicks in battle, which is kind of interesting considering he has a leg handicap, but <laughs> I guess that's how it works. He also has thief tools, uh, this wall staple here that you just saw. Um, we're going to be using that in a little bit, actually, so I'll just wait and show that off uh, when we actually do use it. Because there's really no need to against these guys when you can take them in out in like a couple turns, so. I also like his music. He's got kind of a bass riff going there whenever he attacks. That's pretty cool. Alright, we actually need to hurry up and get through this cave, so I'm just going to skip that other present over there. It's probably, it's just some recovery item that's not really that big of a deal at this point, but uh, let's go up here to the north. Hey Flint, there's someone here. What is that thing? Holy crap, it's like a... It's the caribou we saw earlier, except uh, he's like half metal now. And those pig guys are doing something to him. What are they doing? I don't know, let's go check it out. Whoa! You dropped something up there. They look kind of scared of us, actually, you know? We approach them and they run away. Uh oh, what are you doing with that thing? Oh, yikes, man. That's not good. Leave the poor thing alone. Uh oh, looks like it's waking up. And, uh, of course, here it comes. So we're plunged into sort of a boss battle here with the Reconstructed Caribou, and I love this song. This is pretty awesome. Uh, we're gonna show off the wall staples here, so let's get an attack in first. Stabbed with a horn. Ouch, 28. But we throw wall staples, and uh, if it works, it'll pin them down, and they can't act for a few turns. And that's actually what we want. That's very helpful. <laughs> Ooh, 16 hits. Followed by one. Nice. Alright, we're on a roll today. And see, he can't move, so I pretty much just skips his turn. Oh man, look at this. That song can actually be a little bit difficult to combo to at times, because a lot of times where it's just kind of like the, the drums in the background, and you can't really hear the tempo that well. Ah, that sucked. Oh, he broke free of the wall stampers, and he's going to generate an intense burst of steam. That basically means he's going to be charging up for a big attack. We should almost have him. Hey, what do you know? He didn't even get to get it off. Wow, that's so cool. I've never actually finished him off before he got that attack out. What he would do after charging that big burst of steam is he would actually uh, go berserk and then hit everybody in your party for like 30 to 40 damage, so... Uh, but luckily, we were actually able to finish him off before he got it out. He usually goes before a duster, which is kind of weird, but... Uh, we got that attack in, so hey, I'm not complaining. And of course, they run off after we defeat their uh, little creation there. Lying on the ground is a notebook with a pig nose like mark on the cover. Give it a read? Sure. The following is written in poor handwriting. All the creatures around here suck. We need to make them cooler. So the theme will be tougher, rougher, badder. We'll mix and match this and that to create whole new things no one's ever seen before. I dub it the Fascinating Chimera Project. Let's reconstruct and modify stuff slowly and steadily. Got a pig mark notebook. So basically, that's what the pig mask people are doing, is they're reconstructing all the animals around in order to make them quote-unquote cooler, because they suck. So, man, dude, 
These guys are freaking cowards, man. Now, see if we can chase after him. I don't have any high hopes of that. Oh, well, look what we have here. The cliff here is crumbled. Doesn't look like there's any way to get across. All right, so I guess we just need to head back. But it looks like we're about to run out of time. Uh, there's really nothing else we can do up here on this cliff face. So I guess we'll just start heading back the other direction. Hope they made some progress with that tree. So uh, until then, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you next time.